Communication Technology or ICT is a broader term of te information technology which refers to all communication technologies including internet, wireless network, computers, and other media applications and services. The third one is <clears throat> Educational Technology. It refers to the use of technology in basic teaching and learning. Educational technology includes both the non-digital and dig digital. These tools help students, their classes, collaborate, engage with remote students, or learn in a new way inside the classroom or outside of it. The fourth is the digital literacy. Digital literacy is the ability to find, evaluate, utilize, share, and create contents using information technologies and the internet. <clears throat> and it is also encompasses a wide range of new technology and it is important because we live in a tech dependent world. Today, you can buy movie tickets from your smartphones and read news on a mobile tablet. The next is digital learning. It is any type of learning that is accompanied by technology or by instructional practice that makes effective use of technology. The, couple, the common example is Google Meet. It is built to lead, to lead dozens of people join the same virtual meeting for businesses and education. And the next is online digital tools and apps. It is used in internet connection to access the information needed. A common example is Skype. It is a telecommunication application software product that is specialized in providing video chat and voice calls between computers, tablets, mobile devices via internet and to a regular telephone. The next one is offline digital tools and apps. It is still be used even if there is no internet access. The one example is the Merriam-Webster app. It is a free dictionary for looking up and learning about words. The next is ins instructional technology. Instructional technology refers to the theory and practice of design development, utilization management, and evaluation of the process and resources for learning. The next one is software. It is refers to a program control instructions and accompanying documentation, store and desk or dates when, when not being used in the computer. For example, internet browser, audio and video player, operating system, and photo and video editor. Next is multimedia. It is a representation of information in an attractive and interactive manner with the use of combination of text, audio, video graphics, and animation. Now let's proceed to the internet. What is internet? Internet is a massive network of networks and networking infrastructure. It connects millions of computers together globally, forming a network in which any computer can communicate with any other computer as long as they are connected to the internet. 
it is generally defined as a global network connecting millions of computers. And then we had the WWW or the World Wide Web. It is also called the web, which is graphical environment on computer networks that allows you to access, view, and maintain documents that can include text, data, sound, and videos. It is a way of accessing information over the medium of the internet. It is an information sharing model that is built on top of the internet. And then we have web access. It is the ability of the learner to access the internet at any point during the lesson to take advantage of the area of available education resources. And then we have web quest. It is an inquiry oriented lesson format in which most or all information that learners work with comes from the web. This can be created using the various programs, including simple word, processing documents that include links to website. Next will be the productivity tools, which is refer to the type of software that used in personal, in professional, or in the classroom presentation. is used while monitoring individual practices. Next, the technology tools that has five classification and these are data conclusion, design tools, discussion tools, and the email tools, and the handheld devices, which this various type of considerate as instrument in doing any works, and with this thing that help you all the accomplish your goal with the use of the technology. Next will be the web quest which is primarily a teacher research the experience of the students. Faced with the use of the WWW or the World Wide Web, that typically takes the instructional periods for every student. Next, the blog, which both teachers and students is arranged, which has a three types of blog, which the communication blog, instructional blog and for bar. Next, the wiki that allows the students to collaborate with me, create and upload works. Digital images or videos that commonly known as the wikis. Next, the flip classroom, which this refers the instructional delivery of the teacher requires to use the web resources as homework in instructional of the lesson that will be discussed during the class time of the classroom or in the online. Next, we talked about the podcast, which this refers to the audio that about the single topic of the format of the radio talk show. And these are the two types of function, the retrieve and the disseminate information. Next, we talked about Google Apps that is stored typically in the Google server that accessible to students in home and in school that may include Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Sites, and Google Docs. Next, the blog that posted a video instead of the text. Next, second from the last, the Facebook, the main source of everybody or the popular networking site that used of all worldwide nowadays to present the information of themselves in the world and lastly the VOIP or the voice over internet program, which stabilized the two categories the software and the hardware that enables people to use the internet as transmission for telephone calls sending voice in packets <laughs>